In this video, we'll create a basic, H um, a basic CSS grid layout. A little bit about the, the grid. The grid layout is a two-dimensional layout system, meaning that it deals with both rows and columns at the same time. It also allows you to define a grid container and place grid items, which we call children, within it in any order that you want. Now let's look at this HTML file. It basically is got a title that says uh, CSS grid layout, which we've got here. And it's also linked to an external style sheet that's got nothing much, nothing in there except for a comment. And we've also got a body with six div elements that are basically just plain numbers like this. All right, so what we want to do is we'll start off by defining a container div with the class container. So let's give it the name div. Give it a class called container. And let's close it off. And fix the indentation. So when I save and refresh, nothing pretty much happens because we need to actually define CSS for our container class. So what we want to do is select the container class for styling. I've just pasted what I've copied just to make sure that I don't make any typos. And what we basically want to do is set up a simple grid layout with six grid elements. So these are six elements arranged in a three by two grid. So what we want so then what we want to do is to set the container as a grid container. And to do that, we'll say grid for our display property. And here we've enabled the CSS grid layout. Next, we want to define three columns, a grid template columns. columns. And we want to use the repeat function to simplify the uh, simplify the process of defining multiple columns with the same width. Since we want all of our columns, let's say we want three columns with, so we, here we said we're gonna do a three by two. So we want three columns. And let's say that we would like the columns to be of 100 pixels width. So that's the uh, benefit of using the repeat. If you've got, if you wanna create three, you know, or multiple columns with the same, width or yeah same width so you just want to use the repeat so you can just save yourself the time of having to um write multiple codes that is pretty much the same and for the rows we would like to have two rows so here we will change this from columns to rows and we would want to use the repeat function to create two rows of 100 pixels height okay and what we also can do is specify the gap of the pixels. So let's say um, the grid gap, say 10, 10 pixels. So what this will be is will be the space or, or the, you know, the gap between the grid items, both the rows and the columns. So let's see what that looks like. So when I saved and refresh, we can see that we've actually got three columns. Each column is 100 pixels of width and two rows, and the rows are 100 pixels of height. Now, next, what we want to do is define our ch child elements. So what we can do is here, we define six grid items with the class, and let's call it item, because it's kind of relevant. Now here, naturally, you would want to have content instead of the numbers but we've put in the numbers just to fill out the spaces. And all our six uh, elements will have the class item. And if I save and refresh, nothing happens because we haven't defined uh, what the item class will do in our CSS. So here we will select the item class for styling, opening and closing. And we can just use the background color to um, set background color of the grid items. Sorry, um, I should use a tab. Now what I've what we can do is use um, a HTML code of something, maybe a light orange color or medium, maybe not, not very light, uh, just to show us what 
each grid item looks like. Now over here for the grid gap, now we said this would be the gap between the grid items, both rows and columns. Now if I increase the size to 50, we can actually see that the space between the grid items have increased by 50. We can also play around with the width height. So if I said half of the height, so 50, we can see that the height of the column decreases by 50 pixels. Um, sorry, not the height, the width. And for the for the row, the height, if I also decrease that by 50, the height of the row also decreases by 50. So let's bring things back to normal. So this would be the space. So that's the space between the grid items and increasing the height of the columns back to 100. And sorry, I keep getting, so this is the width of the column. This is the height of the row. So 100 by 100, make them the same, consistent. Okay, let's do more. Um, more styling, if you like, so we can have a padding of 20, say 20 pixels. Now that would be the padding inside each item, inside each grid item. So this gives us that space between the item content and its border. We can also um, center align the text horizontally by using text align. And let's specify that we'd like to have that in the center. So horizontally, the elements are, are centrally aligned, all the content of the uh, grid elements or the text, basically. So yeah, you just keep playing around with whatever styling you'd like to have for your grid items. And you can play around with the number of rows that you like, sorry, the columns that you like with the width in pixels, um, as we specified in pixels here. And you can also uh, uh, play around with the number of rows that you need to have with the width um sorry height and again here i've used pixels so height in pixels this is width in pixels for the columns and uh, yeah you can play around with the grid gap as well and in our case we've created a three by two grid but you can really play around with how many columns and and rows you like to have depending on what your content uh, or what content you've got and how you would like to lay it out but that's pretty much it uh, for a simple uh, grid um, for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.